good morning fellas today is a big day as always as i always say uh, i guess some days you know what i'm like ah today's a boring day today's a big day i'm gonna be doing a little bit of single encountering here just for fun uh obviously just shiny hunting passively but today i'm gonna be breeding three really important pokemon i am gonna be learning the new advanced i guess not, not only new but it's new to me i'm gonna be learning the advanced gym rerun strategy and for that, I need three Pokemon that I don't own. Now, thankfully, that strategy still does use both Blastoises for my current Jimmy Run team, and then one of the Typhlosions. However, this strategy also calls for a Hydreigon with very specific uh, stats. Like, I'm talking, you can't have more than 14 HP IV and more than 14 defense. Very sp uh, specific. And a low, you want a low special defense. Very, very specific stats. And then also, you need a Weezing with like 31 attack and a bunch of other IVs. Uh, and then also a Togekiss with 31 special attack and speed. So we'll go over that here in a quick sec. I'll show you guys the exact Pokemon. And I'm going to do casual single encounters for a little to warm up. And then we'll go start actually working on creating those fun little Pokemon. And making those Pokemon will just be a huge investment for the future. You know, making a Jimmy Run team to make so much more Pokeyen per hour. Uh, you can make up to, I believe it's 550,000 Pokeyen in one hour with a 100% richest charm. It's after the cost um, with this team. This is the this is the world record team that people like Hi, I'm Rainer and Xanarchy use. All right, I do want to quickly show off the gym rerun team now xanarchy has a full in-depth guide of this on the forum so i would check that out and this is how i'm going to be learning the new advanced the new advanced guide um the right side pokemon i do already own the typhlosion the blastoise says that's fine i've got that i like how he calls it br and bw br is uh, blastoise rain dance and bw is blastoise water spout kind of smart to separate them like that via names and you've got hydragon uh neutralizing gas or reactive gas wheezing and then togekiss so some really interesting pokemon that i don't have that'll be cool to to breed up and uh and make those today the the annoying part is ev training's fine i'm gonna have to ev train these guys obviously and i don't know what the it says the evs to you train 252 attack this wheezing runs choice band this is the world record strat by the way for jimmy runs and they run reactive gas choice band wheezing how funny is that um so that'll be interesting i'm gonna have to ev train the hard part's gonna be xp training xp training all of these to level 100 three pokemon is gonna be kind of a huge pain level 100 that's a long way okay so tom sent me a price check request uh you can pay 10,000 channel points to do so i can't price check everybody's pokemon uh but if you watch the stream for free you can get free points and then redeem these to have me price your pokemon to just assist with the price checking process this is a really interesting one and i'm really glad he's brought this to me today um there's a lot of ways you could obviously price check this we're gonna do a couple of them i'm gonna start off by doing 30 in every stat now obviously that the one is 31 um but we're gonna start off by 30 in every stat is careful relevant here i don't think so it's minus special attack yeah not really relevant at all um so i would sort by ditto i would do 30 plus in every stat and just see what comes up and when i do that i get a ditto that is much better than this though jolly nature with 27 plus in every stat this ditto is kind of insane actually this ditto might be flippable actually uh hold on tom let me <laughs> wait a minute let me put your price check on hold actually uh someone's gonna like snipe it before i can even ditto jolly eh, no nah, it's fine i'll let it go okay Wanted to, wanted to check that really quick back to back to your ditto tom this is gonna be a tough one for sure i'm gonna next try 28 plus in every stat which is obviously not as comparable and very strange this one's like semi-similar but obviously missing a 31 and its stats are worse the benefit of the 30 is that people can risk a high roll for the 31 but even then it's like it's risky obviously um the nature is not super relevant this is a good this is a tough one to price check this is gonna be super super tough this one's pretty comparable at 48 49 50k or so um that might actually be where i end up going with this one as you can see there's some comparable ones this one's really really good though i will say um no nature uh, if i were you i would list this ditto personally for 48k so i would do 47 999 personally to undercut this and to undercut these um it's gonna make it you might be able to get a little more for it like you might be able to squeeze out a little more but i don't think it's worth the extra time it would take to squeeze out the extra 10 to 15k i think selling up for like 47 48k is worth 
to just go ahead and, and get that sold off at a, at a decent time frame. Otherwise, that's a mon you'll sit on for a super long time. And it's fine to sit on mons for a super long time if it's worth it, but I wouldn't call that worth it. I would sell for 47999 personally. Okay, here's the daily food take, fellas. Who in chat, who here likes fruit and your jello? I don't, is this, is this a normal thing? Who like chops up apple bits and like throws them in their jello to like chill? That shit is phenomenal. Fruit in your jello, that is delicious. It's so good. It's so, so, so good. Everybody's saying nope, nopers. I like alcohol in my jello. Okay. Uh, not apple. Apple is so good. It's, it's so good. Berries? I've never had berries, but I would try it. I've done, I grew up with, uh, my like, my dad's side of the family, like Southern, like family, they would, they would do cut up apples and like green jelly. I love that shit. It was so good, dude. Okay. There is the end of my lore. I'm going to, I appreciate the charm, but I, I can't use that today. I have other things to take care of. I'm going to head over to Kanto and we're going to do some breeding for some extremely good PVM Pokemon for our Jimmy Run team. Yeah. Before I can even learn the advanced Jimmy Run strategy, I have to actually create the Pokemon you breed them first and then EV train and then XP train and then eventually we'll start working on the route but I have a while to go before I can actually do a, a long time of uh, creating learning training practicing I'm gonna do a guide on it eventually I will do an advanced gym run guide eventually but it's it, it, this is a good like this is a good behind the scenes way to show you guys how much goes into my eventual ability to create to create a guide like, it, it's not like, people always ask, like, oh, just create a guide on this thing. And it's like, I have to put, like, a hundred hours into that activity first before I feel comfortable enough and before I understand the activity enough to even be able to, you know, you can't just do a guide if you don't know it. Uh, the, the knowledge has to come from somewhere. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. Now, out of the Pokemon I need to create, I might have a Hydreigon or a Deanna or a Zwilis or something. Since I opened so many of those, uh, not so many, but some Cherish Balls. I might have something in here, but even then it's kind of, it needs very specific IV. So I'm just checking to see if there's something I can start a breed off with. Okay. I mean, this wouldn't, ver this wouldn't really cost me too much money anyway. So I, I might as well just use this. I do have a, a, a shitty Deano that I can use as a base. So this, it needs to have low HP, low defense and low special defense, which this has, which is actually a good thing. And then I need to go ahead and get uh, 31 special attack and 31 speed onto it. And then an eventual modest nature. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm probably going for a ditto. Yeah, I have to for a ditto breeder for this. Yeah, we can actually just keep our defense IVs as low as possible, which is good. And it's still really cheap. So 5,500 for that. This is definitely going to cost me a lot to make. I'm not even going to keep track of the cost. I mean, my starting Pokemon will be like 2.2 .2 mil or so. Um, this is going to be an expensive team to make in general. But when you're making 550k in one hour from beyond, you know, once you have it done and once you learn it, it's it's well well you'll you'll pay for your team within one within one or two runs easily. All right here's the first breed of the Diano. Third with special attack should be good. Super simple. People are asking why I don't spend my BP on breeding braces. I understand that buying breeding braces with BP is really money efficient. Um, but I don't really care. Uh, I have plenty of Pokeyan. Pokeyan's fine. Uh, and the main thing is I like to keep my BP for special moves. BP is a much harder resource to obtain than Pokeyen, and certain Pokemon require BP moves. Uh, a really good example of this is something like Pikachu. Uh, getting its stream speed on Pikachu, you need to use BP. I believe, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Which I think it costs like 10k BP or whatever, and if you don't have that, you'll have to pay a friend to do it for you. Um, if you want to do like an HM friend Pikachu, you need BP to learn fly on Pikachu. Um, there are certain things, certain Pokemon that need BP for certain moves. Uh, and I like to save that for myself and for teammates. Thank you. Okay, Rainer. I honestly didn't know the answer to this, so I appreciate Rainer explaining it. You need the low HP and the defense IVs on Hydreigon to make sure you die to Weezing's Choice Band Explosion. Got it. While I'm waiting for this to hatch, I probably should start the next Pokemon. So let's just go ahead and do, let's do Togekiss. Togekiss is the easiest one to breed. So we can go ahead and get that going while Hydreigon's pretty complicated. And then Weezing's pretty simple, but expensive. Um, let's go ahead and work on Togekiss and she'll be the next, they'll be the next, uh, the easiest. On this Togekiss, I literally only need 31 special attack and 31 speed and correct nature, I'm pretty sure. Um, modest nature. This is like the easiest. This is very similar to uh, the Typhlosion breeds. Should be pretty 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 simple. Uh, these do get expensive. Togekisses slash Toge... Whatever, right? They get they get pretty expensive, so... You do want to check out for them. Uh, honestly, if I'm lucky... Let me actually just check. Modest. Let me just see if there happens to be a cheap... 150k is the cheapest, so nope. No cheap options there. 
Alrighty. Is it worth to go ahead and get this one for 50k? It comes to question. What's the cheapest? Pedicure Tech 9k. How much would it cost to create one, right? That's the question. Uh, it's probably cheaper to just breed my own. So I'm down to just go ahead and do that. And then you get nature rolls on top of it, which is nice. If I look for a 1 times 31 with modest nature, I could also find a good deal. 18k. That might be worth... This has been up for 18k on this. I'm really, I'm thinking, do you need 31 speed? Could I just buy this and use this? If I were to buy a ditto, I'd have to buy a ditto with this. So it would be to match it. How much would that cost? 60k? I feel like that's worth. I feel like that's hyper worth actually. I feel like that's because then you could breed it for yeah i think you could actually sell it for 150k after and make the easiest profit in the whole wide world what did i just select 2012 i'm gonna buy that 31 speed and special attack is a requirement says rainer rainer you are the world record holder right now correct for most gyms done in an hour i appreciate you Be, you being in chat today is super like perfect and helpful so i appreciate that uh let me go ahead and um so now i'm gonna buy that ditto to match we're gonna buy that yup that's awesome dude what is the record? What, um... So I'm gonna buy this. Okay. So now, I can go ahead and go buy... I bought one of these braces already. I can go ahead and... Yeah, this will be nice, honestly. So I'm gonna put a speed brace. My Deano hatched as well. I'm gonna put a speed brace on the Ditto. Everstone on the Togetic. And now you guys can see... I paid 60k plus 18k plus 20. So what is that? 38. I paid it like around 100k for this breed right around 100k and these right now guaranteed are selling on the gtl right now for 150k so just because i browse the market smartly it's you know, not a dumb word um because i browse the market well i you this is like this is how breeding for profit is so profitable right now people were saying that like i saw comments with oh breeding for profit's not good right now it's probably better than it ever has been uh dittos are super cheap right now and you can do some crazy things you have to just breed the right pokemon and know what you're doing um this is this would be like the easiest 50k profit in the whole wide world to anyone who wanted to breed this for profit versus just breed for a jimmy run team yeah rainer says his current world record for the jimmy run is 37 gyms in one hour that is <laughs> insane whereas like my gym rerun that's gonna be wild my gym rerun prior to this is like 20 to 22 gyms like what a fucking difference if i can reach like 30 gyms in an hour within a couple within like a month or two i'd be extremely extremely happy now fun fact i think i actually do want to put this in a luxury ball correct is that the yes because this is a togepi and Togepi, you need to get friendliness to level it up. It doesn't really matter to be because you're gonna like XP train it level to 100 anyway. So honestly, like having an increased happiness rate won't really matter on this. But uh, I also just like Luxury Ball. It's probably my favorite Pokeball. So why it's technically I don't know. It's neat. Danny with six Ys redeemed PVP advice. What group of six poison types should I bring to a mono type tournament? I love this question. You know what? I'll, let's sit down. I'm gonna give you a detailed answer. Number one. I feel like you need to bring like Crobat. I think a poison flying type. Um, actually, is is Gliscor? Yeah, Gliscor is not okay. Which is not, it's, it's so easy to always forget. I feel like you probably bring Crobat. So having that poison flying to resist EQ or have it, yeah, is gonna be so 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 important. But let's look at a full list of poison type Pokemon. I actually love Monotype tournaments so much. So I, I I would love to. I've wanted to create a Monotype team for an extremely long time. And I would love to get back to that goal at some point. I think they're so, 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 so fun. Uh, one of my friends, Joshua, won a uh, monotype. with wa Water is one of the best monotype types. Uh, and that was a really, really cool tournament to see. You do have access to reactive gas wheezing now with poison, which is super good, obviously. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call out some of the strong Pokemon that are poison types that we have access to in Pokemon. We'll kind of just cut down from there. Um, first things first, like reactive gas wheezing is easily on that list. Um... Nido Queen and Nido King. Sheer Force Nido King might be one of your most powerful options. Uh, instead of Crobat, you could consider going Eevee like Golbat is actually insane. Eevee like Golbat might be really, really good in Monotype as well. It's just so hard to deal with. Um, however, Eevee like Golbat would for sure run Roost. 
and your one ground immunity running roost would be pretty scary. You'd have to play around that extremely skillfully. Um, what else? Scone tank is interesting, but whatever. A Drapion is a super interesting option. Very crit heavy and crit focused. You have Venusaur as an option, but you're not gonna have access to Sun. But no Sun Venusaur can be. A lot of these are like a lot of these are just NU Pokemon. Poison's probably one of the weaker, weaker memers. Um, you could do like Turbo Setup and do things like um, you do have access to Venomoth, which can get Quiver Dance. You can do some funny things. You you. Tentacruel, Tentacruel is probably going to be one of your most powerful options. So, so far, what stands out to me are things like Crobat slash Golbat, Nidoking. So, Crobat slash Golbat are going to be weak to Thunderbolt. You have Nidoking as your ground type to be able to switch into that. You then have, um, what was I just looking at? Tentacruel to be able to be your special defensive wall, um, set up Toxic Spikes, Need, have rapid spin for 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 your side of the field if you need that and just be overall utility you could run amoongus but i don't know if grass type i don't know if you gain too much from that it's still weak to ice i'm amoongus could be a good counter to those eqers you could do amoongus and then crobat you could i have to think about that a lot more um, but yeah, those are some of the, yeah, I think that's, there's not that many poison types. Those are definitely some of the strongest ones that stick out to me personally. Um, those are some of the strongest ones that stick out to me personally. You have Quillfish with Intimidate, which is doing well in NU right now, mostly due to the metagame being stall focused. Uh, you have Scolipede. Does Scolipede get speed boost? That might be like, you have, you do have access to some turbo setup Pokemon. Um, no, Scolipede doesn't get speed boost in Pokemon yet. Never mind. Don't use it. That's so sad. Not worth it. Toxicroak. I'm not familiar enough with Toxicroak. I haven't played with or against Toxicroak enough to really qualify like, how strong it really is. So I'll leave that one up to, to that one. I can't talk on. Um, but obviously, Drain Punch, Bulk Up, Toxicroak, or Sword Stance, can do. I, I don't know enough about it. I don't know the speed tiers. Um, strong. Once again, recapping. Uh, reactive Gas, Weezing, some of the strongest ones. Reactive Gas, Weezing. Uh, you can even do Levitate, Weezing. Honestly, since you're Poison. You actually totally could do a Levitate Weezing to have another another EQ resistance, but it's up to you if you want to run Golbat versus Crobat, etc. Uh, Nido King, Golbat slash Crobat. I think Golbat slash Crobat is a must. Um, you like one of those is a must in my opinion. Um, Weezing's probably a must, but it can depend. Do do, and then you, you probably run like half tank, half turbo setup. Drapion's pretty good if you run stall. If you end up running stall, Drapion could be your win con. When going for crits. Uh, Tentacruel. I think Tentacruel is a must. It's so good. And then, yeah. That's mostly... I think the must runs. The ones are the most powerful. Are Tentacruel. Tentacruel. Golbat slash Crobat. And then... I guess Weezing or the Nido King. Those like four are very, very, very good. Okay, super distracted on that, but I love talking monotype stuff. So there's our Togepi. That is totally done, which is fantastic news. We're going to put, uh, where should we put our Pokemon? Gym run team. We're going to label this weirdly for now. How do all my boxes? Okay, I don't like how easily boxes get glitched around right now and moved around when you don't intend them to um, or don't intend to move them. I, I have I, I try to click on a box and then I accidentally drag it up like all the time. It's really annoying right now. Anyways, um, Toga Kiss. We're gonna throw one of our Typhlosions and both of our Blastoises over there as well. So look at that. We've already got four out of six of our Pokemon done. Easy peasy. All right, on to finishing up this Diano. Okay, for this Diano, I'm looking for something with once again low defenses is super important. So 15 below and everything. 31 speed. I think that's it. I'm looking for... I can do Dragon... I'm pretty sure it's Dragon Egg Group. It's gotta be, right? Yeah, just Dragon. Egg Group, Dragon. Dragon Male. And then it should also show me Dittos if those are cheaper. We've got Phoebus. We've got all the, the beautiful Zeros here. Uh, I'm probably gonna go ahead and just buy this. Phoebus. What nature does this High Dragon need? It needs Modest. Okay. I'm gonna buy that. Super, super cheap. Buy both Braces. Go ahead and carry out this two times 31 breed. And we, if we can hopefully get a good nature roll, we'll see what happens. Here is what the breed looks like. Two times 31, low defenses. Mild, modest, hasty, slash timid, all work, says Rainer. Okay, that's cool that um, it's pretty flexible. 
Okay, that is correct. That's the most that's one of the most specific min-max things I've ever heard. So, with this high dragon breed, um the EVs become very specific. If you get modest, if you get a plus special attack nature, modest or mild or whatever, rash, whatever, you need to only go a maximum of 212 special attack EVs. And the reason being is that after a with with surf plus crit, you don't KO your own wheezing at that exact EV range. So if you just go, if you make the high dragon and just go max 252 special attack, 252 speed, you're actually going to hurt the run. That's so cr Talk about like spe hyper specific calculation min maxing. You guys are crazy for coming up with this strategy. All right, here's the Dano Hatch. It did come out lonely. Uh, the stats are looking fantastic though. Came out lonely though, so we have to re It did come out female. I totally should have paid the 5k to make it female, but I lazily forgot to do that, but thankfully didn't get punished. So Rainer, you actually recommend nature's preference. You actually recommend going plus speed nature on this high dragon. Okay. Uh, should I just go timid then? If it's just as cheap. Yeah, it's actually super cheap to go this. I'm going to go ahead and do that. If that's what you recommend. This breed's also just ending up being a lot cheaper than I expected. So I'll get a speed brace there. Everstone on the carp. Speed brace here. This should actually end up being a pretty darn cheap breed. I didn't expect this Dano to be so... I guess when you when you need low IVs, it's pretty cheap, actually. Like, this is solid. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with this. We'll just put that in a... We'll put, it in luxury. We'll, we'll put the whole team in luxury balls. Why not? They should be living the high life. Okay, so that is our Togekiss and our High Dragon done with. These are... I'm making these way faster than I expected today, which I'm very, very happy about. Let's go ahead and move on to... While that hatches... Now, now is the big daddy, okay? Now we've got Weezing to breed. And this is going to be the most expensive Pokemon to create. You need a lot of IVs on this thing. This thing needs like 4 times 31 and then like 25 plus in defense. This is going to be a pretty expensive breed. For a, a choice band wheezing. <laughs> Luckily, attack is cheap for chaos. Yes, that is easily one of the best. 100%. 100%. Um, here's one for 2k. Listed minutes ago. I might just buy that. I wonder how good of money making um, going for coughings is. Like going to catch coughings. That's kind of an interesting. Kind of interesting. I'm going to go ahead and just grab this 2k attack one. It's so, 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 so cheap. Um, I probably could have gone for high defense as well, but... 24 plus! No, that's actually solid. But we have a long breeding process ahead of ourselves with this one. So I'm going to go 20 plus on the defense. And then something like... 31 HP or some other sort of 31. To be able to get on this coughing. And once again, dude, right now is the perfect freaking time to do... Look how cheap all these dittos are. Please, if you need certain PVM Pokemon, if you need PvP Pokemon, if you need Jimmy Run Pokemon, take advantage of the market right now. It's so good to create. Creating good IV Pokemon is super cheap right now. And when raids come back as a permanent feature, all pretty much all Pokemon are going to spike up in value dramatically. Obviously, this is just my thoughts and opinions, not financial advice, but I do find it pretty hard to go wrong getting good IV Pokemon right about now. I'm just going to buy this Ditto and get started on this breed because time is going to be something that starts to matter. We're gonna need double braces here. Go ahead and buy this and was this HP. Yep. Now I need adamant nature on this wheezing. So if I start to get that nature roll towards the end of the breed, it's gonna change things. But if I don't get if I get it at the early be like beginning or whatever, it doesn't really matter. But I'm gonna try to let's see how this looks. Learn HP and attack. Looking good. That's plenty what I need. Now, should I make this? I think I do make this female, don't I? I think it's worth to pay the extra Pokemon, 5k. Because otherwise I'll be forced into dittos for a 3x31 breed, which becomes a lot more expensive. Not choosing gender if you're just doing like a 2x31 breed is fine. But once you start pushing 3x31, it's because buying 2x31 dittos is way more expensive than buying 1x31 dittos. Is Alpha Titar a myth? You only get one Alpha Tyranitar encounter per account. And you own, there's no like random Alpha Tyranitar swarms. You only get Alpha Tyranitar after defeating, like getting, unlocking Mount Silver. So you have to have complete Pokedex entry. And you only get one Alpha Tyranitar per account after you complete the Pokedex. Imagine one of these is shiny. I mean, that would be the dream, dude, with how much I've been shunting and how high I am and such, dude. Absolutely, man. Uh, this is from Rainer, the, the Jimmy Run world record holder. Fun fact, I brought up the fact that Brock's Aerodactyl likes to use Earthquake versus Weezing High Dragon lead so that he was forced to recommend 25 plus defense to deter that as much as possible, the chance that Weezing dies before exploding. Okay. 
Gotcha, gotcha. So 25 plus on the Weezing is going to be important. Can you share your PVM Pokemon list? The PVM Pokemon that I own or the ones that I need to create? Because I do have, like, in terms of ones that I own, we would just head over to, um, we would just head over to my boxes and then check out, like, I have a bunch of different things here, though. Um, like, I have a bunch of stuff in Utility, like level 100, Crookediles that are fine. Um, I should have a lot of random stuff. Typhlosions. My my rampart. This is like for special attacking rampardos for XP training. Um, I have a hundred fortress for dittos. Oh, you you you. I have a bunch of moms here. A bunch of PV mammoth swines, crocodiles. I'll show you my. I did a video a while ago showing my list of PVM mons I need to create. I have a bunch of stuff in here that I use for PVM. Uh, Starmies, Volcaronas, Garchomps, Hippowden, uh, Salamence, more mammoth swines, Gyarados, Togekiss, etc. These were these three Pokemon right here. The Togekiss, the Chansey, and the Blissey. These were all meta during the first anniversary event. This was this was the trio of Pokemon, the team to beat uh, Red when you when you fought him in the anniversary event, which was pretty interesting. And this was like the sets. It was like Calm Mind, Hyper Voice, Air Slash, Soft Boil, Screens, Helping Hand, and then like Screens, Calm Mind, yeah, Heal Pulse. All right, here's the Diano hatched. Thirty one pills, Hatherone Speed, Tim and Nature. It's done. That is a a finished wait. Wait, how did the- wait. <gasps> wait, is it fucked? Why is the defense so high? Did I high roll defense? Oh my god, I- this is unusable, isn't it? I have to fix this. Fuck! That actually sucks! Oh, that's actually so sad. I can't use this, it's unusable. Because of the high defense roll. Fuck! Oh, that really sucks, actually. Wait, Rainer's gonna calc that Deano for me. Okay, thank you, thank you. At least it's female? Well, it might be better to just sell this off and breed a new one from scratch. That's so unfortunate. Oh, no. Thank you for calcing it, Rainer. 2v2 attack plus choice band wheezing explosion versus the high dragon. 98.3 to 115.9% damage. 87.5% chance to OKO. It's not... Yeah, this, this Deano is a failure. It might... I think I just... Oh, that's so funny. That's so funny. Um, I have to breed a new one with, with shittier defense. I might just sell this one. Let's let's double check and make, make some profit or something. It's it's female, which is nice. So someone might want to breed it up or something. Let's let's check. This might be better to just sell for profit. Honestly, only 87k or so. It's probably about what I paid for it. Oh man, what a bummer. Okay, I think my best play... This is not that bad. 13k for this. I think my best play is to... I could look for a... Just here. Dragon. Oh, this is not that expensive at all, actually. Let me do a maximum of, like, the lowest defense IV possible. What's, like, 0? 7.5. That's honestly worth it, dude. Just to try to turbo low roll it. But I need to keep... Well, no, I need to keep... I need to Everstone this... Oh, this is so shitty, actually. I think I just sell it and rebreed from scratch. Okay, I'm just gonna sell this one off. I think it... I don't know if it was profitable or not. I honestly have no idea. I'm gonna sell it off, get rid of it, start from scratch. And that's how you mess up a breed, boys. It insta-sells, which is nice. Um, I'll take it. Let's, let's start over. We're looking for as low defense IVs as possible on a Deano. So here we see 3k for this, like, 5 and below every defense. We're going to buy that up. We're going to take it. We're going to start all over again. We're going to look for 31 speed on some sort of ditto with very similar IVs. Let's do this. Is it female or male? It is female. So we can actually do the same thing. Dragon. I'm going to get us back to that point we were at, and then I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, this is what the new Deanna breed looks like. 31 speed, low defenses. Let's get it going. While that's hatching, we'll work on the next breed, the coughing. Let's go ahead and get another stat on this. I purposely made it female, which is super good. Uh, we want to we want to get a breeder with 31 attack. So 31 attack. This is how you know egg groups, right? Like 31 attack is a really cheap IV within the um, chaos egg group, right? So I'd rather look for one to match that IV and then brace the HP. It's gonna be cheaper if I look for something like this. Like 31, it's probably gonna be super cheap in the in the chaos egg group. Okay, or there's gonna be nothing, <laughs> nothing comparable. What if I do 20 plus on defense? Still nothing. What if I do 31 special defense over the speed? Wow, okay. Well, it's not happening how I expected. But I mean, that's just I mean, that's just breeding and that's just markets. That's how it goes. So what are you going to do? Um, man. How is that? I am shocked. I'm not going to lie. I'm really shocked that that's... 
Why is there nothing cheaper? How is 31 attack? What is happening? Maybe Breedro and Breeder? It's not a bad idea. If I want to save money, unironically breeding my own Breeder is probably pretty smart here. How much money would it actually save me? If I were to breed my own Breeder, I would end up paying 4k for this Slugma, for example, and then breeding it with this and paying... I'd breed that with this. 8k so it'd be 8k plus 4 to 5k 13k plus the two braces it'd be like 33k so i'm saving like 10k or so if i do that and wasting a bit of time i'm gonna do it because it's fun it's honestly probably not optimal you probably should just suck it up and pay for the slightly more expensive memer but whatever i like you know what i like playing the little budget little budget game and i think it's good for viewers who are on or are on more of a stricter budget than i am it's good for them to see how they might want to do things. So, I buy an attack brace, buy a speed brace. This is going to be cheaper to breed my own breeder than if I were to just buy one off the GTL. Okay, here's how the breeder for our breeder <laughs> is coming out. Uh, we do have to pay for this to be male. Just to make sure. That's fine. That's worth it. We'll end up saving like 5k or so. You, can also, you also have an extra chance at rolling nature. That is true. There is like some things that can happen that, yeah, there's definitely some interesting things you get from breeding your own breeders that increase the chances or odds of shinies, nature rolls, etc, etc. There are some benefits to it aside from just saving the money. We'll collect that Deano money, get some of our Pokean back today. Okay, here is our Deano hatch. Let's go ahead and get back working on him. We'll go ahead and grab a egg group. Actually, this has to be a ditto. It's male, so it has to be a ditto. So we're going to look up ditto. We're going to search for 31 special attack. Get that low defense IV absolutely all day. And we're going to pay like 6k for that breeder. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely totally good. Uh, we'll go ahead and get braces for those. Here's what it looks like. Should be 2 times 31. Still need nature on it. I'll either breed the nature on after or maybe we'll get lucky. There's a lot of natures that could work here. I think I think like mild, rash, hasty, modest, timid. There's a lot of things that could work here. I do want to pay the extra 5k for this to be female. Absolutely glad I remembered. Absolutely worth it. Okay, our slugma hatched. Alrighty, so now we're looking at, okay, this is going to be the perfect breeder for it. Let's grab an HP brace, a speed brace. I have to super make sure that I pay for, uh, to make it female here. Because this, this breed is just going to get expensive. The Weezing is probably going to be the most expensive breed. HP brace on that, speed brace on this. This should come out 3 times 31. This is easily going to be, yeah, 20 plus defense. 3 times 31. I only need one more... IV on it, but I do need it to come out adamant, which is tough. Need to pay for this to be female. It's so important. And that's going to have one more breed too. That's going to be an expensive one to finish off, but that's okay. It's, we haven't spent that much at all, honestly. I was I was willing to spend like a million on this Weezing alone, let alone um, I, I've spent like 200k or less honestly on everything so far, so I'm actually way, way under budget so far. Alright, here's the Deano. Let's see. It came out naive. Is that usable? Can I just use that, Rainer? I need the uh, the world record holder approval. But that random nature roll might actually be fine. Do you need the special defense? Naive is usable, yes? Okay, I'll take it. I will rock with that. So our Deanna was done this time. Whew. And I made some profit on that other breed. I will take it. And we just have Weezing left. The most expensive Pokemon to breed. Needs 4 times 31. Needs adamant nature. That's the only thing left. Okay, continuing on after that Everstone nature order rant. We have a we have our coughing to breed. Let's look for the perfect pairing. Okay, looking for this uh, this coughing breed. 20 plus defense. We need 31 special defense. We can brace the speed. Look for chaos, male. This is going to be... Okay, it's way more expensive than I wanted to see, I will say. That is so expensive. Let's check... Um, What if we transfer out like 31 speed for HP or... This is way cheaper. Glad we did that. So 155, that might be our best op option, but... Yup, that's easily going to be our best option. Not even close. Um, Man, that's expensive. But I think it's easily the best. I'm going to buy it. 155. That would have been... That maybe would have been a better breed to... um, What's it called? To make my own breeder for. But I, that's it's fine. I already bought it, and it would have been a, taking a lot of time to make a breeder for that. But that, honestly, it could have been worth it. All right, for the final gym rerun team Pokemon, it's not done yet. I still have to get nature on it, um, and it does need adamant. I think it needs adamant. I don't, I don't think you can go, like, naughty or lonely, for example. I think you need adamant, um, so we're going to see what happens. 
yeah, I'm getting confirmation from Rainer. Adamant is like the only nature you need. You need Adamant on this thing. Definitely going to pay for it to be female. So I might have to. I have to get super. The odds are I'm going to have to pay for a super expensive breed after this, unfortunately. Like even I'm going to have to pay like 250k more or whatever. Um, odds are I'll have to pay a lot for this next breed. But if I happen to get unbelievably lucky and roll Adamant, it would be so lucky to roll Adamant, dude, on this. EVs being 252 instead of 255 tilts me. Uh, it actually used to be 255. And the reason why it's not anymore is because 255 EVs just wastes EVs versus 252 since EVs are... Four EVs equal one stat at level 100. They're distributed by... Uh, they're div divisible by four, right? So if you if you go 252 to 255, that's three EVs. So those three EVs are just wasted if you max EV something. If, if you have the option um, to EV train something to 255, you can find two, old Pokemon in Pokemon with 255 EVs. They're extremely expensive and extremely rare. Um, I thought that I had some, but I apparently do not, which did shock me. I don't know like what happened or how that how that is decided, but you used to be able to EV train stuff up to 255, which is the default EV limit for, for traditional Pokemon. This is actually a great question because I feel like this uh, this allows me to answer something that a lot of people don't know. Um, so allegedly, this is a great question that continued off from our, our previous conversation. Hey Pat, in specific cases of genderless Pokemon, is it worth uh, starting with nature and breeding it up, um, hoping to high roll some of the IVs since multiple 31 IV dittos with good natures are super expensive? The reason why you don't need to do this is because you can breed those genderless Pokemon with the same species of genderless Pokemon. So you can breed Beldum with Beldum. You can breed Staryu with Staryus and Starmies and whatever, right? You can breed Magnemites with other magnemites so this allows because otherwise the price would be ridiculous if you needed like six times or if, you, if you needed five times 31 dittos right wild dittos to create six times 31 metagrosses there would be like no there would be like no metagross on the market right but the fact that you can generalist pokemon are the are the kings and queens of creating your own breeders 100 like you, you create your own breeders to make these and that's why it's a, the only pokemon that you actually need fun fact the only pokemon you need is six times 31 um to breed up or a five times 31 to breed like a perfect pokemon for is tauros because tauros is a male only species you actually can't breed tauros with other tauros so to breed a that's why like to breed a um a five times thirty-one Tauros. It's actually it's actually like the most expensive Pokemon to make, hilariously, or one of the most. If you do like, let's do zero on special attack. If you look up a five times thirty-one Adamant or Jolly Tauros, there's none on the GTL. What about Jolly? These cost a lot to make. Six mil. Like, yeah, Tauros are actually like the most expensive. One of the most expensive expensive bonds to make, um, which is interesting. Okay, our coughing hatchery. Oh, what? We actually, what the fuck? Oh, that's so good. We actually randomly roll it. What the fuck? That's so lucky. That's so, what is it? There are 32 natures? One out of 32? That's actually so, I just saved like 250K streamer luck. And I like mid to high roll defense. One out of 25? That's so dumb good. Oh, it's so stupid good. Dude, I randomly rolled naive on the D. I got really lucky on these. Oh my goodness, I'm so lucky on my nature rolls. Wow. I can't believe... I, like, two clips ago, I was like, it would be so stupidly lucky to get out of it. Like, I just... It's too dumb. I can't expect it. <laughs> it's streamer luck, boys. Woo! Hell yeah, dude. And yes, this is a great example of why you don't start a breed by ever stoning up. Because you can randomly roll the nature and you can save so much money in the process. When you do a lot of breeding for profit, it really, really does matter. Okay, so here is the new Jimmy Run team, fellas. We've got our coughing made, Adamant. They're not moveset or EV trained or anything, obviously. We've got our Deano, Naive. This will work. We've got Togekiss, Modest. We'll show everything in a second. You, you, you guys have probably seen these Typhlosions and Blastoises a million times. These are literally like some of the most shown Pokemon in Pokemon. Just normal, stereotypical, easy Jimmy Run Pokemon. So we'll um, we'll close that. Whatever. Uh, here's the three main ones that are new that I'm not used to. The cough, the wheezing, the coughing. Does it have reactive gas? I will have to pay 35k to change the ability, but that's totally fine. Um, Togepi, Deano, solid dude. Solid Pokemon, really happy to have them. None of them need egg moves, which is nice. I do have to go do a lot of EV training now. That's the a lot of EV training and then eventually a lot of XP training. Oh no, apparently I'm getting the news. 
Apparently I'm getting the news that my Blastoise is um they're not they're not they're not optimized for the advanced Jimmy with 22 speed? What do you mean? <laughs> These were like cheap skimped Blastoises that I've used forever for like the casual. Man, breeding new Blastoises is going to suck. That's going to really 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 suck. Um That's going to they're expensive and annoying for sure. How much to breed new Blastoises? Water spell Blastoises are pretty expensive. Um and a pain because it's an egg chain breed so i might have to get new blastoises but this would suck yeah i'm gonna need new blastoises Ugh, i didn't expect <laughs> to have to do that we got more breeding to do boys okay i'm just gonna throw these over in my utility how's my typhlosion is my typhlosion fine it's modest it's not 31 speed it's 30 speed is that enough 30 speed 25 uh 31 attack I feel like this is probably fine. The guy just says 31, 31, modest. It's it's one, it's, it's 31. It's 31, does, is the one IV speed actually matter in this hyper min-maxed Giga Chad run? Do you plan to do Claire? It matters for that gym? Are you trolling? Do I have to make a new Blastoise? <laughs> or a new type Typhlosion as well? I have to make a whole new, I just have to make a whole new gym run, boys. This is actually cursed. Well, uh, this is how advanced and how min-maxed the advanced Jimmy run is versus my casual one. To the point where, like, yeah, at 30 speed, it's a speed tie. You actually need the 31 speed. That's so crazy. That is so funny. Okay, well, let's, uh, I've bred a ton of cynicals in my lifetime. So let's just start, go ahead and get started on those. I know how to do those pretty well. I only need one. So this should be pretty easy. I can actually save money here. This is so, this is such a... This is such a penny pincher way to save money. So it's 18,500 if I buy a 31 special attack Cyndaquil. However, if I buy a Cyndaquil, a shitty one for 2k, and then buy a Ditto with 31 special attack or speed, and then brace it, it only costs 2k, 5k, 10k. It's only like 17k. I save like 1k <laughs> by doing this. Worth it. But we get a nature roll chance. So you know what? Screw it. And we get a, a, essentially a free... Essentially a free Cyndaquil. Shiny chance. This is what I've been reduced to. Watching my own guide on how to breed Water Spout onto Squirtle. Alright, so I have my double Whalmer. I have my double Remoraid. Double male. Double female. That Petrowski guy. That was a really good guy. That actually... I mean, unironically, I forgot how to do it. And it helped me figure it out again in two seconds. So there we go. Water spout relearns. Water spout. Bam. Boom. Easy peasy. Okay, so now I, do, now I, need, now I need to go ahead and do these breeds. Uh, Whalmer. Plus rim raids. Love water spout. I need to make these male, I believe, right? To then bleed, breed them with a female squirtle. I'm pretty sure that's the... I'm pretty sure that's the meme. Um, female squirtles are also expensive. Pretty sure they're like 15k a piece right now or something like that. But once again, another male water spout accessed. Remoraid. Hey, that was actually really, really easy. Way easier than I remember for sure. Okay, our Cynical hatched. Came out Jolly Nature, which is obviously not good, but it means whatever. Uh, we need to breed Speed onto it now. Should be pretty easy. Pat, why would you build this team in two hours when you could get 6,000 hours of content for going for the shiny Jimmy Run team? True! That would have been the real Petrowski stall for content um, ideas if I... <laughs> I only, I made a full shiny Jimmy Run team before I did any uh, advanced Jimmy Runs. True and real. Okay, here's coming our our, uh, our Typhlosion slash Cynical. We're gonna wait for, we're gonna hope for a nature roll there. I guess, surely I don't get, you know, this many lucky nature rolls. I think I do pay the, wait, no, no, I probably don't pay the 21K actually. Let me check. How much would a field? Oh, how much, I'm gonna cancel this. How much would a, this is, this is a good time to like check. How much would a field memer cost? Male, field, probably not that much. You, you don't have to go like, 31 special attack, male field, nature, modest. 10k? That's so cheap. I'm actually just buy that right now as a backup. Let's check dittos really quick. Versus um, if it came out, if I have to use ditto, 24k. Yeah, it's worth to just buy the... It's worth to just buy that uh, Sneasel preemptively. Save money. Nice. Wait, is it worth that? <laughs> this is what happens. When you start breeding, you make you make mistakes. I think that was... Yeah, you lose money. I think that was actually... Okay. 
So what I'm going to do... <laughs> Alrighty. I'm just going to... Do this breed. And not pay the gender, right? Yeah. Okay. And then I'll just... I'm going to resell. I'm going to flip the Sneasel for 2k. <laughs> Dude, I swear. If you breed for more than 40, 45 minutes, there is a 100% guarantee you'll end up making a mistake. For sure, dude. We got three eggs absolutely cooking now. All right. Double Remoraids have hatched. These have like no IVs, no anything. It's really just... Male Remoraids with... Uh, this one came out timid. Is that ever worth to... Carry the Probably not from this point. Either. Um... I think, I think both of them need to be modest. Both Blastoises, yeah. Okay, Rainer is explaining why you need higher defenses on one of the Blastoises. So the slower choice spec Blastoise needs higher special defense and HP um, than the Rain Dancer Blastoise so that it doesn't get targeted by Scarf, Choice Scarf, Solar Power, Solar Beam from Blaine's Charizard. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, I understand now. So it was like 20 plus enough, just, just higher than the other Blastoise, right? Do you need the Specs Blastoise to be a little slower so the other one can set up Rain Dance and then a little bulkier? It's also recommended to have high defense so that Flareon doesn't superpower it. So literally, okay, all of the defenses on the one Blastoise are literally just for like AI decision making. That's so, how do you guys figure this out? Like how many hours of Jimmy runs? That's so interesting. That is so crazy to me. Need a PhD to make new Jimmy run teams? Apparently, dude, apparently. Okay, our Cynical hatched. Oh, we stall for content. It came out adamant. Okay, so this does need to be bred. So the best way to do this is just going to be to buy a ditto. It's male. I need to get a ditto for this. Cynicals are super... I've made a bunch of... They're just so easy and pretty chill to make. Moz. I don't think I need any defense IVs on this. Let me double check. Let me double check. Uh, no defense IV. Nothing. I think... Yeah, I think just 31. This is the one of the easier ones. Just 31 special attack and attack. That's 24k for modest 31 special What about speed? Is it cheaper? It's the same exact price. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. I'll just buy this one. Sure. Uh, we'll go ahead and get a special attack brace. We will Everstone the Ditto. Brace the Cinequil. Should This should now be a 2 times 31 modest Cinequil. have everything I need. Yep, perfect. Don't need to care about the gender. It's a done breed. Okay, so now I have the Typhlosion done. I only need the double Blastoise now. I have four out of six Pokemon done. Okay, one of the female Squirtles doesn't need any IVs. It just needs 31 special attack and speed. That's going to be the Rain Dance setting one. And then the uh, just solo, the Specs Blastoise with Water Spout. That one's going to need high speed and special attack. And then high HP defense and special defense. So we'll use this one for that. I think this one has higher defenses just slightly. So we'll use, which one is this? We'll use this one for the shitty easy. Let's get that going for that Squirtle. Okay, well, these Squirtles are stupid expensive. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and buy a shitty female Squirtle. Yeah, we're going to buy this for the 12k or whatever. And we're going we're gonna to breathe the IVs on after because that's just super, super expensive. Um, and then I can go ahead and we'll, we'll get Water Spout on it first things first. So let's just go breed that top Remoraid and this lower Squirtle. So that's going to come out like this. Water Spout Squirtle. Yep. And we can breed that. We can let uh, gender roll. It's totally fine. Now this one. This one needs to keep defenses or raise defenses. So this one I do want a Squirtle. That is female. With high-ish defensive if possible. So we're going to do gender female. We're going to do 25 plus on the special defense for sure. We'll check 25 plus. Yeah, that's... Look at that. Nothing, dude. Nothing left. Uh, we'll do 20 plus on both and see what I can find. 20k? I'm willing to pay that. That's fine. Dude, farming squirrels right now is probably insane money, I've been saying. You can do 20 HP as well for 25k more, which is kind of expensive, but I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. I'm going to go. I'm going to buy that. That's a lot for that, but I'm, I'm down. Um, I could actually brace something in this breed, which probably is worth it. Do I just brace the defense or the HP? Ooh, this one... I'm down to spend a little more money to make it a little more guaranteed and just brace one of these hilariously. Or I could let both roll. I think I brace the defense. This is so funny to do this. I'll try to roll the HP after. This is very, very funny, but this should work. Let's see what this looks like. Let me talk to the guy. <laughs> Bracing a 30, 24. Okay. Yep, that should be good. 
Don't need to pay for gender on that. Water spout squirtle. Okay, we're getting started. We're getting barely started. Okay, everything hatched. We got our Cyndaquil. Our Cyndaquil is ready to go. We're going to throw that in the PC so we don't have to worry about it. Bam, boom, perfect. Our double squirtles. Both having water spout now is huge. This one came out with really, really nice. I think this was a high roll HP, right? Wow. This squirtle came out really nice with the defenses. And then this one, uh, obviously, just need third control attack and speed is fine. So, okay. Really solid squirtle here. Let's do the E. Let's get a breed. Let's get an egg going on the easier squirtle. So we can have that hatching in the, in the background. We look for the, the, the tougher one. Ah, and there's that Sneasel flip I was talking about. Easy peasy, boys. Yeah, I buy a 31 special attack. Uh, ditto for 5k. We're gonna throw. Oh, I already had one. That's fine. We'll throw a brace on it. We'll go do that. Break that eight hatch a lacking. Uh, Rainer says you can do mild on the faster. We could do mild or rash on the faster one. One that doesn't need the stats. That'd be kind of cool. Um, we're just mild, not rash. So 31 water spout. Let's go and get that going. I shouldn't need female for that. That's fine. That'll cost a lot more as well. So we can avoid that. This one's gonna be an expensive breed. So we need a ditto with 31 special attack or speed. We might need to make our breeder for this. It might be worth. Let's go ahead and check though. Because we're going to need something with at least 20 plus in all these stats. This is going to be expensive. I, I know for sure. Or not. Wow. And now this is. Okay. Dude, I've been so surprised today. There's been so many prices where I'm like, oh, this is going to be so expensive. I'm so scared. Ah, blah, blah, blah. And then I like, it's like, oh, what the? F no, it's actually just cheap for like. And then some, the opposite. That's crazy, man. Um, Y'all pick 20k for a ditto like this? Sure. What is happening? The ditto market is so strange. Certain things that I expect to be expensive are not expensive. And then, yeah, vice versa. That is actually pretty wild. Um, I could have definitely braced like the defense. It might have been cheaper or whatever, but that's fine. Um, so here's the Squirtle at the moment. 24 plus in all defenses. Water spouts. I do want to pay for this to be female, don't I? I'm pretty sure that's important. Uh, let me check. It probably is worth to pay for this to be female. All right, it's in Monster and Water A egg group. So if I pay the extra 20k to make it female, I can do this. I can do water. I'll do 24 plus and everything. Water egg group, 24 plus. And then you'd end up doing 31 speed male. 46k if i make it female what was the one monster i think it's water a monster 30k try to just buy that that's so good oh man um versus a ditto i'm just gonna buy that a ditto a ditto is gonna be way more expensive i just know i could be wrong uh, I'll, I'll double check just in case but i'm pretty sure a ditto with any stats similar to that is gonna be wildly more expensive versus just buying that wismer is actually so good um Let's check. Yeah, I did. It would have been like 60. Yes, that's why I, I was like, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Okay, so it is worth to pay the, the extra 21K to make it female. There we go. Boom. Okay, here's the first Squirtle. I'm pretty sure this is the one that doesn't need any stats or whatever. It just needs special attack and speed. You can't run hasty on this, I'm pretty sure, right? I should have confirmation on that really quick before I continue this breed. Okay, now you need mild and modest on this. Okay, so I'm just going to go for a... Just a ditto with third one speed. Pretty sure it's just the buy here. A really, really, really simple breed. Doesn't need anything else. Yeah, I think that's it. I just get a special attack brace and a speed brace. I already have a special attack, so we'll go ahead and grab the speed. This special attack on this. See how this looks? This should be a really simple two times 31 special attack and speed squirtle with water spout. That's it. Really, really simple breed going there. Don't need gender. That's fine. Wait, I do need gender, don't I? Wait, oh no! I totally should have paid for gender there. Ah, oh, fuck me. Or should I have? I think I should have. Should I have? <laughs> we'll see. Okay, we got the other Squirtle to hatch. Um, this is what I paid female for. This is going to be a pretty beautiful breed. So here I'm going to... Yeah, just, just brace both IVs and just hope for a nature roll. A lucky nature roll here could be insane. Um, but if not, I think it's also okay. We'll make it work for the one time so with good stats. Uh, I should pay for this. I think I do pay for this to be female just in case. I think I pay for this to be female just in case. Even though I know it's, the 20, it's expensive. These are just expensive mons. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go for the I'm gonna go for the female breed just in case even if it's like 10k. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it Okay, here is the this one randomly rolled female, which is super lucky. Wow. I don't think I paid for that That's really lucky actually. Uh, it's like a 12.5% chance bold nature. Okay. I need this to be Modest. Yeah modest slash mild. I think are the usable ones So This one should be pretty easy. We're just gonna do special attack um we can do a male we can look for a male breeder to see if it's cheaper i'm gonna look for mild because i prefer a budget thing if possible we'll see if the price difference like 3k for this no way is it really that cheap to like make a breed like this that seems so cheap but i think it's right we would take that we'd everstone let's check modest <laughs> it's so much more expensive okay i was able to find a cheap 3500 pokey and breeder for this Squirtle, which is going to end up working out super nice. I think I need a what? Special attack, speed brace for it. So we'll pick up that. Our other Squirtle hatched. We're almost done. We're done this after this breed. Speed brace on this. I believe this should be the final for this for one of our Squirtles. One of our Squirtles is done. Mild, water spout, 31-31, and then low defenses apparently really matters. So I don't need to worry about gender for that. That should be done. Taken care of. Complete a renode. Whew, that feels good. Now onto this Squirtle. It's got really nice IVs. I pay for it to be female. I need it to be correct nature now. This is the final thing for all Jimmy Run Pokemon, all advanced Jimmy Run Mons to be ready to at least be everything. I'm gonna have to even train everything. Okay, so what I need here is a one times 31 in either special attack or speed, 25 plus, modest, water A, male. This is gonna be kind of expensive. 100k is fine, honestly. What's what's the difference of speed? 75k. Okay, I think I just go with this. That's actually really good. And I can just high roll. I can high roll defense for fun. Um I think I just go with this, right? This is totally fine. 75k. I think I'm just gonna buy it. I think it's just good. I could check Monster Age really quick as well. well. Oh, I'm glad I did. It's cheaper. Okay. Let's check special attack as well. Okay. It looks like that Rhyhorn's our best option. 60k. I probably could have made a breeder. Similar situation. Both are fine. Yeah, I'm going to grab the Rhyhorn. We're almost done, fellas. It's been a long, tough day. We're almost done. I'm going to buy a special attack brace. I'm going to buy a... I need more... I haven't bought... I'm out of Everstones. I usually buy, like, Everstones in, like, stacks of 25 at a time. I finally burned through all mine. We'll buy that. We'll buy 10 more. We'll buy that. Why not? Everstone, the Rhyhorn. Oh, we're going to be done, fellas. I'm so, I'm so happy. Whew, okay, and with this, we'll be done. I'm excited, dude. Oh, this was a stressful stream. There we go. With those two Pokemon hatched, we're going to have all of our new advanced Jimmer and Pokemon completed. And then tomorrow, we'll work on EV training and then probably XP training. We'll see if we can get all that in one day. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to call it for now. Uh, thank you for all the all the homies on the chat hopefully you enjoyed it if you enjoyed this kind of stream if it was educational to you even though it was tough and frustrating hopefully it was fun educational entertaining in some ways like the video if not dislike uh subscribe to the channel for daily pokemon videos follow the twitch for streams monday through thursday at 12 pmt rainer shout out to you for all your help and zenarchy for your guide discord down below and if you want to go above and beyond and support the channel youtube memberships twitch primes twitch subs and paypal such so help out a ton thanks for watching have a great day love you all very much let's raise someone on twitch Yo, what's up? I just want to quickly say thank you so much for watching the entire video. That's very, very cool of you. And it's even cooler for all of these people to go above and beyond and support my content. I couldn't do it without you. Thank you so much again.